Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Crystal Reports is a database reporting application used by many different types of businesses and industries to generate accurate and powerful reports that assist in business decision making. If you need the flexibility to generate reports from many different types of database files in your organization, then Crystal Reports is definitely for you. While there are many fine database report writing software applications available, you will find that Crystal Reports is very useful in allowing you to use the same report writing tool to access and analyze various types of data sources, such as Microsoft Access, Oracle, and Microsoft SQL Server, among many others. However, before you begin to examine the process of creating reports using the Crystal Reports application, you should familiarize yourself with its operating environment. Crystal Reports makes use of a standard operating environment that contains many familiar features, such as a menu bar, and many types of toolbars. This first lesson will begin by examining the various objects you must use during the report creation process, what these objects are named, and where they are located within the application screen. In Crystal Reports 2013, after opening the program, you will see the Start page. At the top of the page, under the Start a New Report section, you will find hyperlinks that you can click to create either a new blank report or launch one of the report wizards to assist you in creating a specific type of report. Within the My Recent Reports section, you will see a hyperlinked listing of your most recently opened reports. You can click the name of a report within this list to quickly reopen it. You may also click the Open File hyperlink to launch the Open Dialog box, which you can then use to find and open a previously created report. If you wish to close the Start page, you can click the small X on the Start Page tab at the very top of the page. To view it again after you have closed it, you can select Help from the menu bar and then choose the Show Start Page command. The Application window contains the Start Page as well as any other reports that you may create. If you do not have a report open, then notice that most of the menu bar commands are not accessible and that the majority of buttons that are displayed in the toolbars appear grayed out or unavailable for selection. To see how the environment changes when a report is opened, you need to create a report. Note that each report that you create will be displayed in its own report window on a separate tab inside of the application window. To create a new report in Crystal Reports 2013, you can either click the New button that appears in the standard toolbar, or select File, then roll down to the New command, and then choose Blank Report from the menu bar, or just click the Blank Report hyperlink that appears within the Start page. At that point, a new blank report will appear in its own report window inside the application window. Also, the Database Expert dialog box will appear on screen. This dialog box allows you to connect to the data source of the report, which we will discuss in much detail later. For now, you can simply click the Cancel button within the Database Expert dialog box to close it and view the basic report window behind it. Notice that you now have a full menu bar of choices at the top of the application window and that many of the buttons available in the toolbars are now being displayed in color, indicating that they can be selected. Within the main report window, you should see a tab at the left side of the screen that says Design. This lets you know that what you are seeing on screen is a report shown in the Design view. This is the view in which you will spend the majority of your time when creating reports. Next, you will examine what tools are available to use within this view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.